here we've got 20 litre multi purpose moorland compost one pound that's 20 litres and the same we've got here 10 litres for a pound which one? in Morrison's we've got the big bags 70 litres and there's three for nine pounds so three of those will probably work better than the other B and M 50 litres three for ten Okay, so because we got the three bags for nine there, we had an extra pound. We got the pound land 20 litre, which we're gonna see and test out how it is. So I'll sieve it through and see how much actual compost is in there. And I've had some sawdust which I've put on the bottom just to get rid of it and the compost will go on top as a thin layer. the whole bag it's not too bad actually there's not a lot of twigs as I was exp expecting loads of twigs and stuff to be in here but all of this seems to be just compacted in the bag I wouldn't call this waste because it's still so in theory I have that whole 20 litre bag that's probably just all that we didn't use and the rest is down here it seems like good compost and the Morrison's one We'll compost that. We'll uh, sieve that and see what that's like. Did I about 20 litres, which is the same as what the Poundland one was? That's the waste, and this one is a lot darker and richer and a bit heavier. You can see there. I'm going to use a bit of this because of the wedge that we're growing in here. already sieved out one big 70 litre bag. I've got three of these in total and I'm basically sieving it through and just putting it in. So the second bag down here now. And we're just doing, we're just sieving it through and you can see there. I filled the whole thing up now and show you. So it's 
two bags done. I'm half full most of the area and about two foot I've got there which I've used a spirit level and just kind of make it straight. Carrots are going to go in there and radishes. So if that's straight there I might put a partition here. Have this lower and then have a lower section. And then depending on my need I can top up more compost. Because I still have those there so when I harvest those I can mix that compost with this fresh compost. So that would be full. I'm just using that as a bit of a mini table while I'm working. seems to be working so I've emptied two big cans of water into that to settle the soil and you can see that's compost tea I'll call that leaking at the bottom we can use that again once it stops leaking so that's just making sure that the overflow is definitely working and uh, there's two sections that one's deep but it's settled so it's gone down a bit this one's a bit lower and then I've got a really low one which I'd probably put another divider in I'm just using that as a bit of a table for now.